Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Clark, engineering manager here at Everglades Boats. This morning we're out on this beautiful 335cc. The 335 is a mid-size offering in our 5 series line of boats, which is our deep V center console offshore offering. This 335cc is constructed using our proprietary patented ram cap construction process. Ram cap produces a single piece, rigid, stable, cohesive hull structure uh, that is unsinkable very stable on the water and rides like no other boat. If you guys want to learn more about Ramcap, be sure to check out our website at evergladesboats.com. This 335, along with all of our other Everglades models, comes standard from the factory with a lifetime hull structure warranty and a three-year manufacturer component warranty. So today we're going to do a bow to stern walkthrough on this 335cc and show you guys all the incredible features and amenities that this boat has to offer. Starting up here on the bow, we'll show you our recessed anchor locker. So we have our recessed anchor locker here, stainless steel through stem anchor chute, which you can see our anchor line passing through right now, 10 inch fixed cleat to tie off your anchor line, Lumar stainless steel pro fish windlass, your windlass toggle control right here, and a raw water wash down spigot to wash down your rodent chain. On either side of our anchor locker opening, we have our bow navigation lights top mounted to the deck. A 30 degree rod cup holder combo. You can find these rod cup holder combos throughout the entire boat. And 10 inch pop up stainless steel cleats. Six of these total found throughout the boat. In between our port and starboard bow seating areas here on the deck, we have a great recessed, flush mounted, electrically actuated bow table which we're showing here, deploying with the push of a button in the full up position, which turns our bow seating area into a really great dining space. So just aft of our U-shaped bow seating and our recess actuated table, we have a spacious in-deck 129 gallon insulated fish box. The fish box also has a dedicated macerator pump, which discharges overboard. The forward end of the 335 console here features a great forward facing bow seating arrangement Nice, comfortable, sculpted cushions with a pop-out armrest with two drink holders mounted inside. Below this seating, there's a spacious, insulated, cooler drink box. Great place for holding a bunch of ice and cooling down your drinks. On either side of this seat cushion here, you can see our molded-in teak handholds here that are part of our teak accent package on this boat. Midship. On the inner deck wall here, we have another JL88 and our 10 inch subwoofer is part of our JL audio package on this boat. Below these two speakers, you'll find one of our Lumatech full spectrum courtesy lights. Lumatech full spectrum lighting can be found throughout this boat. Midship port and starboard sides, you'll find another 10 inch stainless steel pop-up cleat. That powder coated grab rail from the bow area extends all the way back to this section of the boat. So as we work aft from our bow seating area in the forward portion of the boat, we'll find a nice recessed powder coated aluminum grab rail that extends back to about midship on both port and starboard sides. Below our grab rail recess, we have dedicated lockable rod storage on both port and starboard sides. The rod holder details in these boxes can also be folded out of the way to use as general storage, which is a really nice detail. Below these storage boxes, you'll find one of our JL Audio 8.8 size speakers. This boat is equipped with four 8.8s total, two 7.7 speakers in the aft hardtop, two 6.5 speakers in the forward hardtop, a 10 inch subwoofer on the port side of the deck, all powered by a JL 800 watt amp, and all connected and controlled by a Fusion Apollo head unit. So we're about midship now on the 335. We have another stainless steel rod cup holder combo here on the port side, matching on the starboard side. We also have these really convenient fender pins, which can be found throughout the boat. Quick release with the touch of a button, take your dock fenders in and out of the boat, really convenient. So we're here behind the helm of this beautiful 335. This helm station offers a really great command center to control all the features and functions on this boat. We'll highlight them all here for you. As we get up on top of the hard top on our e-box area, we have our Garmin VHF radio speaker, one of our SP8 keypads to control the functions of our Garmin digital switching system. 
a Yamaha CL5 display, another SPA keypad, and our Fusion Apollo head unit to control our stereo system. As we move down from the electronics box, you'll see our patented Everglades hydraulic windshield. Such a fantastic feature. With the touch of a button, you can deploy the windshield up or down based on your preference. Having it down lets in a lot of fresh air, keeps it nice and cool if you're running on a hot summer day. It also gets it out of the way when you're operating the boat at night to reduce glare. Or you can have it all the way up for increased uh, wind and weather protection. Moving down from the windshield area, we have our Ritchie Compass mounted on the uh, port side there, but right behind the wheel. Moving down from the compass in the dash area. So here at the dash, we're showing these gigantic, beautiful Garmin 9222 MFDs. This boat with the lower tier electronics packages comes with twin 16 inch Garmin MFDs. This boat has the premium electronics package, which includes these dual 9222s. Included on these 9222s and also the lower tier electronics packages is our proprietary digital switching system, which we developed in-house with Garmin and Empire Bus paired together. This system is really incredible. We can control every single electronic function on the entire boat, all from the Garmin screen on these dedicated pages and switches. There's also backup dedicated SP8 tactile switches on the helm for redundancy and critical functions. So moving down from our 9222 Garmin MFDs there on the dash, we have this beautiful high gloss teak on top of the dash as part of our teak accent package on this boat. Really, really dresses up the helm and adds a classic clean look. We have our wheel here on the port side, trim tab controller, our Yamaha Helm Master joystick as part of the joystick and autopilot option on this boat, two recessed cup holders, and a nice chuck space with dedicated USB chargers and 12 volt power ports. Moving down from the teak panel, it's a good size, good size storage drawer here. Good chuck space for phone, wallet, keys, things like that. We have our Garmin VHF handset, our Yamaha Helmmaster throttle control, and on either side of the wheel we have our autopilot controller as part of our autopilot package, and another Garmin SP8 keypad over here, which can be. Uh, used instead of controlling from the Garmin MFD screens. You have quick access to critical functions right here in addition to the control on your MFDs. This particular 335 is showcasing our upgraded Release Marine Teak Ladder Back Helm Seats. These seats are both beautiful and very functional with dedicated bolster cushions, extremely comfortable. The armrests can fold up and out of the way with the touch of a button on the outside. Each three of these Release Marine seats is also mounted to a dedicated aluminum slide mechanism. It can all be slid in or out independently based on whatever the captain and the passenger's comfort preference is. Just below the helm seat area, we have a tilt-out acrylic door with a dedicated storage bin and really easy access to your entire electrical distribution panel, breakers, fuse blocks, and our remote battery switches that are mounted in there. Over on the port side of the 335 in the cockpit area, we have a really nice two-part dive door and gate configuration. The gate hinges back on top of the gunnel to reveal two flush-mounted stainless steel cup holders with another nice teak panel on top as part of that teak accent package. door hinges back and tucks in out of the way underneath the gate. There's a magnet catch that holds it in place. The door opening is nice and spacious, makes getting in and off the boat from the dock really easy and also pulling in a big fish onto the cockpit through the door nice and easy. Just after the dive door opening we have a dedicated stainless steel cup holder. Moving back from the cup holder another fender pin receiver, dedicated rod holder, pop-up 10-inch stainless cleat, and then a dedicated freshwater washdown sprayer. So here in the port aft corner of the cockpit, we have our optional Reverso automatic engine flush control switch. Just below that, we have a Hubble 30 amp power port for electric reels or other electronics. We have our battery charger inlet plug. 
our magnetic ball catch for the dive door when it's in the open position. And then a custom high polished stainless steel drain grate for our scuppers to allow the cockpit to drain overboard on both port and starboard sides. So we got a lot of nice features on this boat across the stern as well, in the aft cockpit area. Over here on the port side, we have a spacious insulated 37 gallon live well, which has blue gel coat on the inside, a dedicated raw water inlet pump, and a separate dedicated recirculation pump. The lid also has double seals all the way around the perimeter and a clear acrylic lid on top. So moving starboard from the live well, we have a spacious, fully insulated 82 gallon stern fish box. Fish box is nice and deep. It also has two dedicated dividers to help separate your contents a little bit and an elevated shelf here on the far starboard corner. Across the transom of this 335cc, we see our engine package on this particular boat is twin Yamaha 450 XTO V8 outboards. These two engines provide really incredible performance on this boat with a top speed of about 56 miles an hour and a range of almost 380 miles at cruise speed. Also available on this boat, as far as engines are concerned, is uh, twin Yamaha 350 V6s, twin Yamaha 300 V6s, or twin Mercury 400 V10s. All of those engine packages are all fed by a 306 gallon fuel tank. So the cockpit area of this 335 is a really great layout and configuration for both fishing and general entertainment. We have a nice dedicated aft facing mezzanine seat bench right here. Really comfortable. Dedicated cup holders. There's actually two wireless inductive phone charger coves on both port and starboard sides on the inside here. Underneath the mezzanine seat bench, we have an insulated cooler with an optional chiller plate that you can select. This particular boat does have the chiller plate installed, which is great. You can ice down this entire box without actually using any ice. Below the seat, undo these two slide bolts and reveal a footrest slash step, which makes this seat even more comfortable. So on the starboard side of the cockpit, up underneath the gunnel, we have dedicated rod and gaff racks with bungee cords to help hold in your rods and reels and your gaff or your boat hook, whatever you decide to store here. Really great feature. Below those racks is a powder coated aluminum tow rail, which is really great. You can slide your feet right up under there while you're fighting a big fish over the gunnel or even reaching over to gaff your fish. You can slide your toes up under there and be nice and secure as you reach over the side of the boat. Here on the starboard side of our helm seat, mezzanine seat structure, we have dedicated tackle storage with plano drawers, a slide out drawer underneath, leader storage on the forward side there, really nice cabinet. There's a matching size cabinet on the port side, which is just open storage with a shelf on the inside. Above our tackle storage cabinet, over here on the starboard side, we have a dedicated, 20 foot long freshwater wash down hose reel. This is a really great feature. You can pull this almost all the way around the boat and wash whatever you want down with your fresh water. There's also a matching hose reel on the port side that's connected to the raw water feet. Just a quick pull and this hose auto retracts into the reel and tucks in completely out of the way. So in the center of the aft cockpit here, we have a roomy dedicated bilge access hatch. Gives you great access to all of your mechanical and electrical and plumbing systems in the bilge. It also highlights uh, optional Seakeeper 2 gyro stabilizer, which we have on this particular boat. So inside the console on our 335, we have a spacious head area. The head area has plenty of storage throughout. There's a dedicated freshwater sink. The head itself with a natural finish teak platform that folds down over top. And then a teak step tread that leads you down into the cabin area with non-skid strips built in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this bow to stern walkthrough of this incredible 335cc. If you guys wanna learn more about this boat or any of our other models, be sure to navigate over to our website at evergladesboats.com. There on the website, you can use our build a boat tool to spec out any Everglades model exactly how you like it. You can also use our find a dealer tab to locate a dealer that's closest to you. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and I appreciate you taking the time to join me. Be sure to follow us on social media at Everglades Boats and I hope to see you on the water in an Everglades soon.